My name's Rachel. I'm one of the doctors at Concept Cosmetic Medicine. I specialise in minimally invasive cosmetic medicine, as well as all of the things that you might be able to do with a needle and a laser. Today, I'm going to talk to you about one of my most favourite topics, which is sunscreen, which you all might think is a little bit nutty because it's my favourite topic, but I love it because I think it's the best way that I can keep people looking younger for longer. Everyone needs sunscreen, regardless of your skin colour. Did you know that most of the UV that comes from the sun is in the form of UVA, probably about 95% of it, and it's this particular type of radiation that is the one that gives us all premature ageing. Now, given these are three of the biggest reasons, wrinkles, pigmentation and sagging skin, that people come to me in the clinic, it makes sense that if you're interested in anti-ageing, one of the tools that you're going to have in your toolbox is a bottle of sunscreen. Now, I wear sunscreen every day, no matter the weather. If I look outside and it's raining or hailing, I still have my sunscreen on. Because I think there's a notion that people only wear sunscreen when they know that they're going to be in the sun for a prolonged period. But for me, it's all of the incidental exposure that we all get over a lifetime that I think really can have a great contribution to how well we look for our age at a particular point in our life. So, but if, you're, if you want your skin to look good for longer, you need to wear sunscreen in order for that to happen. So there are two main types of sunscreen. There are the physical sunscreens, nowadays called the inorganic sunscreens. So they're things like zinc and titanium. And the way that they work is they sit on your skin and they reflect and scatter the UV. They're really good because they stay on well, they're quite low irritating, and they don't break down readily when you're out and about in the sun, and they protect you against all of the different types of UV. So I quite like the zinc sunscreens. The other type of sunscreens are the chemical sunscreens, and these are called organic sunscreens these days. Now these are compounds that sit in your skin and absorb into your skin and they themselves absorb the UV and they convert it into heat. So this is how they protect you against the sun. I pretend that my sunscreen is just another layer of moisturiser so it's on my face before I go out in the sun. SPF is a way of measuring how a sunscreen protects your skin against UVB radiation, which is the type of radiation that gives us sunburn and skin cancers. Now, say for example you're wearing an SPF 15. That would mean that 1 15th of the sun's radiation is going to reach your skin. Or another way of putting it is if you went outside and you had no sunscreen on and you put your arms out and it took you, say, 10 minutes to get burnt, if you had an SPF 15 on, it would mean that it would take 10 times 15, so 150 minutes before you got burnt. Now, SPF 15 is totally fine to wear as a day wear sunscreen for all of that incidental exposure that we were talking about. If you're gonna be out for a prolonged time in the sun, whether you work outdoors, you're gonna be doing sports or going to the beach, you really need an SPF 30 or 50. Now, interestingly, there isn't actually a great deal of difference in the protectiveness that a 30 and a 50 give you. The key is how much you put on. And there are a lot of studies that show that none of us put enough sunscreen on. Probably about a quarter to a half of what we actually need is what we're putting on. So assuming you wear a cosy and you're going to the beach, do you want to know how much sunscreen you need? You need six to nine teaspoons of sunscreen to cover your body. That's about 30 mils of sunscreen. So you can divide that amongst all of your bits and it needs to be put on about 30 minutes before you're in the sun and reapplied every two hours. And if you don't do that, unfortunately, you're not getting the amount of protection that you think you're getting from the SPF on the bottle. 